think till around yesterday afternoon we got to the hotel mom called me and she's like oh my god he's eligible so uh after that i told him i was like y'all go ahead his game is big for him but they ended up coming here and uh they got the rv outside at the uh, facility so they just watched the, the rv okay and then they, um, so they didn't do tiger walk where they usually do and then they came up to the stadium for our game how about some of the uh alignments that coach was dialed up today for you guys yeah i think we had a great plan um we put the, some of the best players out on the field at the same time which is awesome uh having no one out there beside me and uh just doing the things that we did, it was really good for us. It really paid off. The preparation was uh, very tough this week. And I'm so proud of our guys for really just getting in the film room, just getting just getting down to it. We really had to, a lot of preparation in this game because they do a lot of good good stuff, trick plays and different things like that. So I was so happy for this team. Ken, have you had a chance yet to talk to your brother at all or, or hear anything, check your phone at the end of the game? I know yeah, they had a record day, you have to pick. What would you say to him? I try not to be on my phone too much, but uh, usually when Pops calls, is pretty uh, important. But um, somebody told me he got a touchdown, and then it got called back, so I was upset for him. But, um, you know, I was just so happy for him getting his first first game. And uh, over there, I know it's really been on his mind trying to get in there and uh, get after it. So I'm really happy for him, and I hope it pays off for him this season. When did you find out that he was going to be eligible and he was going to play today? Yesterday, uh, my mom called me at the hotel, so we got there around 3 or 4 o'clock or so. Maybe a little later than that, I can't remember exact time, but right then, uh, so I was super excited for him, texting, telling how happy I was for him. Tanner, does the secondary have a little bit of a swagger now? I mean, you guys are really playing terrifically well. No, it's never been like that. We've always had it. It's never been off and on, this and that. Every, all the outside noise doesn't matter to us. I mean, uh, we get it all the time. It's always going to fall on the back end, and we know that as a secondary, and we're fine with that. We'll take the heat. But then we'll just show up on Saturdays and play the best of our ability. When you catch a groove like that and keep them off the scoreboard for you know basically three, four quarters, and you guys go on the 24 run on offense, what's it like when you not only have the interception, the turnover, the results, big sacks, but but when you hit your grind, that that, that groove, do you feel it different? Does it come across different? Or uh, it's about the same. We expect to make all the plays. I mean that's just how our defense is under Coach V. He expects to have be either TFL, SAG, pick, whatever, you got to be there. That's how we pre prepare and things like that. So I think the biggest thing for me is seeing Nolan, Kayvon, Denzel, the guys I'm right beside, Isaiah, that I'm right beside in the film room, seeing them make plays, it's just like so much joy just comes through me, and I just want to like help them celebrate the best I can because all the hard, I know the hard work that we put in, and um, just seeing that on the field is awesome. How much time you guys about giving up a touchdown? It looks like you're going to hold it up. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we just didn't have our eyes on the right thing. Uh, at the end of the day, I think we had a good stop. Uh, they drove the field down to the 20, and then that's where it kind of got a little hectic for them. Uh, we had a lot of really good plays. AJ had an awesome, um, awesome coverage and things like that. I mean, it is what it is. At the end of the day, we just try to put the best of our ability. This can be a problem with defense and the team as a whole. Can you guys get better today? Yeah, I think we got a lot better. I think we got a lot of confidence. Nolan got a lot of confidence with all the PBUs he had. I think he had like three or four. Uh, so that's huge for him. Um, and I mean, just overall, I mean, I think we did a lot of really good things today, and I think we did a lot of really bad things today. So there's always uh, things to correct, and uh, the great teams always get better. There was a good amount of talk, even a guarantee from their side that they were going to come in here and win. Did that add a little bit of extra motivation? <laughs> It is what it is. I've never understood um, the talk before games, but it is what it is. People do it all the time. And, um, you know, I mean, when they publicly call you out, it's just, I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to say something back and you, you don't get anything done with that. So we just took it in. I mean, that's their opinion and it, it is what it is. So uh, it gave us a little edge and uh, I think it really helped us just prepare even harder. You guys brought a lot of pressure off of the back end with the, with the safeties. Was there something you saw specifically coming into the game that you know, led you guys to bring that pressure off the edge? Um, yeah. You know, it could be his head. You never really know what he's, <laughs> what he's thinking, so you just try to uh, do the right things. But uh, the Mac Protect, Chip Protect team, so trying to bring a little something, something to them. I mean, uh, make them indecisive and things like that. That's why we really try to focus on uh, our blitzes and how we blitz, how we pre-snap, post-snap, things like that. So. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Their, their team was built a, a different way, so they did a lot of tight end work. So trying to blitz the tight end and things like that was a big game plan. How different is it having the year of Jimbo Fisher, Texas a and film compared to one game last year when he played? Uh, the game last year, we knew nothing. So we didn't know how they were going to um, play offense, how they were going to play defense.